question is, how much are you putting in, John? Um, I'm going to invest. Final mobile day last night and back in London after an incredible weekend. 19th July, the day. We're doing a vlog today. Mate, the weather's going to cause me lots of anxiety. Apparently. Do you even know what we're filming? No. It's a big one. It's a big one. I mean, for, for me, it's like, kind of like, feels like whatever, but... Um, so today, we're driving to the studio and I'm going to buy the dip. And what I mean by that is that I'm going to buy some Bitcoin and Ethereum today. The only day we could do it was today. And luckily, I've been checking. I've just been hoping that the price is at a certain level and uh, that's the current price. Of Bitcoin and Ethereum today and Dogecoin. I always follow that for a bit of fun. But yeah, so basically people say like the fear index everything for Bitcoin and Ethereum is like the, the worst it could be. It's been sitting at around sort of 32, 31, 33, something like that. People ask me, am I gonna buy the dip? And the answer is yes. Like I am, but I obviously have to just time it and I thought it would uh, like five years time. Looking back and making a video about it, even like a little vlog, will be fun. Fingers crossed, as long as it goes up. The question is, how much are you putting in, John? <laughs> um, I'm going to invest a million dollars in Bitcoin Ethereum. What the hell, <laughs> dude? 50-50. <laughs> really? Gonna, yeah, I'm going to do 50-50 today. Um, I'm going to use BlockFi, because um, I love BlockFi, and you earn interest and stuff like that. You're going to pull the trigger on a million, a oh, million dollars? Yeah, yeah. Ethereum and Bitcoin. Yeah, it's definitely a dip. It might dip more, but long term, you know, for me it's like long term and it just makes total sense. But yeah, when we get to the studio and we uh, we do it, um, I, I, I can explain more. I like more bullet. <laughs> more bullet from the rally. <laughs> so yeah. Did you know that? Here, we're in the city of London. It's completely separate to London. Did you know that? Yeah, I've never quite understood it to be honest. I, I've, I've heard like the city of London is different from the rest. They've got their own laws and, and rules and stuff. But they've got their own mayor. They've got their own police force. Why? Why? Because it's not part of London. I mean, it's mad. The world is absolutely crazy. But Bitcoin is in the future. Honestly, what's the date today? 19th of July. Obviously that's today for us, but in the future, five years from now, it's gonna, the landscape will be completely different and this will feel like a super old school video. As, as mad as people, you know, think that, you know, Bitcoin's at a high price, blah, 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 blah. Like reality is that it's like still low compared to like five, 10 years from now, so. At the moment it's 31 and a half, which we're gonna be buying it at today, and Ethereum's at 18, 19 or 1850. Oh, yeah, I could be wrong. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. All right, this is Fly and Rosie. Fly's the mobile photographer. Good friend for about 10 years. Craziest man alive. Right. Like Rosie, PA, Q&A, hostess. Yeah. Yeah. Back in London. Are we getting a prep? Because we're not having a prep for days. Yeah, no, I was going to say, do you want to get some prep? Yeah. Just checking the price as we go in. How's it doing? How's it changed? Back to the studio. It's been a while. It's been a while. When you ask kids at Pinball, come on, your age is like full of Pinball, isn't it? That's all they have back then. Well, yeah, this is, uh, this is called a computer game, isn't it? Are we in? Yeah, I'm there. Pressure, no pressure. Straight down the hole, get off. <laughs> that is the lowest score in the history of this place. And I would just like to point out, that's good. Already scored more, and I've done nothing. Oh! Yeah, right now. Right now, the price is that. I know people will be more shocked that it's 27 degrees in London than the price, I think. That's the current price, I'm logging in to BlockFi now. Logged in. I don't know why, but I just feel like today is just gonna go down a bit more, so I'm thinking maybe we do this afternoon. You want this to wipe me up, innit? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> to keep the tension going, it's like... Well, it's kind of like just dipping, that, that those little percentages make a difference, so... My gut feeling says 
should do it. It's like 11 30, 11 29. My gut feeling says, let's do it this afternoon. See, the man had stole the fire, so it's her who put the flame out in that scarcely room. Has it gone back up or has it gone back down? It went down a little bit and then it's gone up a little bit. The temperature in London has gone up two degrees, so I don't know what that means. That's because, so, isn't that, is that because you're like body, bodily kind of like... My hand's really warm. Yeah. No, I don't know, I don't know. But we'll, it's a two hour drive, so we'll see how it changes in the next two hours. So in the next two hours, right, if it goes up and down, if you'd have put the bid, another bid... If it goes bought, up 10%, obviously, yeah, it's 100,000. You could have made a hundred grand down. between now well, and the apartment. Yeah, but it's compounded, so it kind of, yeah. I mean, yeah, so, so I mean, but whatever it is, I'm just going to buy it, because it's a long-term thing. I just hope it goes, if it goes down 10%, it would be brilliant. If it goes up 10%, then I'm going to do it. I, mean, I know people that sold Bitcoin at $600, and they thought it was, like, at the top. Like, nobody, if you hold Bitcoin for, like, four years or five years, no one's ever lost money. But it's the people that buy it and sell it, and you know they FOMO into it, and then they sell it on their way out, uh, on the way down, because um, they're worried. Um, those are the people that don't understand the technology of it. All right, let's have a quick update on the. Uh, How long's it been? It's been about an hour, yeah. That's the uh, current price. Edging a little bit down. Is it going down? Behind. Bruno! Here he is, the main man. Bruno! It's gone down. 36 and 18.12. Panned out. We were right. The main man, the good luck charm. The good luck charm. Mm. You want to go in? It's too hot, isn't it? Yeah, time to go in and get it done. The five year plan starts now. Gonna pull that trigger? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. And then in two hours, it's all going to go wrong. We're all going to go tits up, as we like to say. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to log in. Should you have a cup of tea first? Yeah, uh, if you have a cup of tea, it could go up or down, so you, you choose, not me. Let's make tea first, because I can only do this with a cup of tea. It'll be fine. It'll be absolutely fine, Dave. <sighs> cup of tea first. Cup of tea? Cup of tea to calm my nerves, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Bizarrely, let me see that, but I'm 93 cents short. It's three pence short. No, it's 93 cents. Oh, 93 cents short. short. Does that still qualify? Yeah, it's still, it's still a million it's, dollars, isn't it? It's still a million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> 90 odd cents short. So the plan is, I'm gonna do half Bitcoin, half Ethereum, because I do think in the next five years, Ethereum will flip. Bitcoin, that is my guess. Being a noob to the crypto, how easy is it to, to do this? Super easy. It's ridiculously easy. Way easier than you think. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm literally gonna buy it now. So all you do is hit trade. Yeah. yeah. Buy Bitcoin for USDC, because that's what I have it in. Confirm. And then the amount is $500,000. Oh, and that's the rate, 30,160. And then you just hit buy. That's wow. literally all you do. So right now you can hit buy and you just bought 500,000 pounds of a Bitcoin. I'm gonna hit buy. Do you wanna hit buy? No, I'm not. I'll hit, <laughs> I'll hit good buy. Come on, you hit it. Go no, on, I'm not hit. touching that. I can man. blame you if it goes wrong. No, I'm gonna hit buy. Which, I'm, and this is it. This is the trade. You ready? I sweated over buying a bloody Mars bar. Do you know what? My, my actual hands are a little bit sweating, yeah. but you're making me nervous. Buy. Confirm. A half a million dollars worth of Bitcoin. And now I need to buy Ethereum. Trade. Buy a big uh, buy Ethereum. Confirm. USDC. Confirm. And the amount. So buying Ethereum for USDC. This is how easy it is. You know, this is why it's gonna be the future when everyone realizes how easy it is. Ready? So buy yeah. Ethereum, USDC. Confirm. Done. What the hell? That is it. See you in five years, right? <laughs> Done, mate. Cup of tea? Cheers. In the garden, to relax. Right. 
So, that, that, um, so now that is going to be set. I'm going to call my guy at Blockfire and then I'm going to be like, that's it. Lock it away. I don't want to know. Um, so I'm not going to look at it now. And should we go and enjoy a cup of tea in the garden? Yeah, mate. Yeah. Stressed, de stressed. <laughs> yeah. Come on, let's tea makes, makes up for everything. There's a secret to keeping you calm and you know the composure after just going all in on the dip. With that, man. Well, the, th the thing is, is that when you've been doing it so many years, you, you don't, you're not really emotionally tied to like the price going up and down. Because ultimately, I read a read a comment on Reddit and it's brilliant. I remember there was a dip and the guy said, "I don't know what everyone's talking about with this dip. I've just checked my account. I've got this exactly the same amount of Bitcoin." Mm -hmm. And that is the way to look at it. It's a long-term thing. The, the thing is, is that the reason you don't get like emotionally like tied to it is because, and they call it like diamond hands and paper hands. The, the way to invest, and everyone will say the same thing, is you invest money that you don't need for the next like five years of your life. Because if you if you do that, then you you never have a reason to sell it. You can just leave it there, and it doesn't matter what, what's going to happen with the price going up and down. The other re way people have diamond hands is if once once you go, once you fully understand Bitcoin, Ethereum and the future of it. You never sort of doubt it. It's the people that invest money that they need for rent or they need for something um, and they don't understand the technology and the future of it. And that's the people that sell. If you don't understand something, you should never ever invest in it because it will give you a re because if you don't understand it and it changes it will give you a reason to panic and sell yeah but when you fully understand it long term you won't worry ultimately it's like I my plan was actually I was going to pay off my mortgage but then when I think about and and do you know what I did I called them up and they wanted to charge me another 24 grand for paying early and I was like what how is that even a thing I thought to myself is my house going to be worth more than what it is in five years? Probably not, because there's probably a recession coming and inflation and everything else. And then I thought, if I was to invest that much money in Bitcoin in five years, which is going to do better, my house or Bitcoin? And they are, it's a no-brainer. It's an absolute no-brainer. So for me, it makes much more sense to do it you know, long term. Obviously, I do the podcast, British Entrepreneur, which is like really great fun. Um, if there's any um, crypto people out there on YouTube or anything like that that want to be a guest on my podcast, just get in touch because, you know, obviously I did the podcast with KSI and, um, you know, he's invested in Bitcoin and stuff like that and other things. And so from that, you know, uh, a lot of people asked about crypto. So if there's anyone else, you know, in the crypto world, Michael Saylor would be a great guest. You know, he's a really cool dude. Andreas Antonopoulos. Yeah, loads of people. I'd love to chat to them more about Bitcoin. All the YouTubers that do videos, there's like, I, I'm a big fan of Crypto Daily, who doesn't do daily videos anymore. He, you know, like, I think he did a two, had a team up off, like Ames. Like, like, there's all these like YouTubers that are always pushing Bitcoin crypto. And it's like, because of them, that's what's accelerating everything. I'd love to chat to them more about Bitcoin. Um, and if I can add anything to the space in any way whatsoever, um, in a positive way, which I will, then I'm down. And then we'll see what happens. And the other thing is that, you know, people might go, oh, you're crazy, you know, Bitcoin is going to go down, blah, blah, blah. But if you look at Amazon, right, and this is the way I see crypto, is Amazon went up to $100, $113, I think, and then it went all the way down to $6, right? And everyone was like, oh, it's, it's completely lost everything, blah, 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 blah. But if you watch Jeff Bezos, he said, when it dipped all that, all that way, like 90 odd percent, he said, in the background, Amazon as a business was just getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And the price didn't reflect what was going on. And that's the same with crypto. You look at Bitcoin and Ethereum, and even though the price jumps up and down, you know, and people have like FUD and all this kind of stuff. In the background, the building blocks of crypto is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And so that's how I see it. I'll read the comments on this one and uh, you know, everyone's thoughts are good. You know, I'm, this is, I'm gonna keep this in for years. So um, it'll be interesting to follow the journey. And uh, yeah, um, fingers crossed, wish me luck. Cheers. Another day, another dollar, right? Another million dollars. <laughs> I wish.
Let's go and check the internet. <laughs> no, I'm not checking it ever. Fingers crossed it all works out.